Once a year, a beautiful 20-block stretch of Fifth Avenue opens up to runners of all ages and abilities who want to run their best mile in New York City, from the Met to the Grand Army Plaza. The race has been held annually since 1981 and the course, a straight run down Fifth Avenue, takes the runners from the Metropolitan Museum of Art on 80th Street to the Grand Army Plaza on 60th Street. This year, the race was organized on the first day of autumn and as the elite men took their positions on the starting line, some familiar faces could be seen like Olympic silver medalist Leo Manzano and Bernard Lagat, the 2011 champion. As the starting gun went off, Lagat and Manzano quickly took charge of the group and stayed at the front for the first quarter mile. As the runners started nearing the half-mile mark at the top of a hill on East 75th Street, however, 28-year-old Will Lear was first over the line in two minutes flat and earned himself a $1,000 bonus in doing so. Lear was unable to hold the lead for long, though. In the third quarter mile, New Zealand's Nick Willis, last year's winner proudly wearing the yellow shirt, changed into a higher gear and started moving up on the outside of the field. With only the last quarter mile remaining, Willis extended his lead even further. The only one to respond was USA's Garrett Heath, but even he was unable to keep pace with the Kiwi runner. Having afforded himself a quick wave to the crowd, Willis broke the tape in a winning time of 3.52.1 and grabbed his second Fifth Avenue win in five years. To 30-year-old Willis, this is an important victory in the build-up for the IAAF World Indoor Championships. Bernard Lagarde came in second with Garrett Heath rounding off the podium. The women's elite race was just as thrilling as the men's. As the starting pistol went off, 27-year-old Jenny Simpson took the lead in a tight-knit pack of 15 runners, challenged only by Australian Zoe Buckman. The 2013 World Championship silver medalist Simpson managed to stay in the lead though and the group reached the quarter mile mark in just over one minute. As the race continued on a slight incline in the second quarter, Simpson found another gear and began to separate herself from the group. It soon became clear that the 2011 IWF World Champion was not only aiming for a win, but an impressive one at that. As the chase group reached the halfway mark, Simpson extended her lead, and chasers Morgan Yuseni and Viola Lagarde fell behind by 10 metres. Soon, Simpson had a four-second advantage over the chasing group. With 200 metres until the finish line, Simpson pushed even harder. With a final sprint, she crossed the line for a first place finish with a time of 4.19.3, the fourth fastest time ever in the history of the race. This was Simpson's second Fifth Avenue victory in three years. Rounding off the podium were Yuseni in second and Susan Kuchkin in third. With that, it's time to say goodbye from the Big Apple and the Fifth Avenue Mile.